Alrighty, so... You know, we've been idling on this main menu for just a little bit while getting ready. And there's... Like, there's a bunch of these design elements that I didn't know, I didn't quite realize were so consistent between the games. Mm -hmm. Are you sitting on your mission select? Mm -hmm. Well, then you're gonna hear bells and whispering. Oh and, yeah, and just kind of ominous. Well, here, well, what's what's really rad is uh, when we get to the midpoint, and this mission select completely changes. Mm -hmm. just, just a little bit. Because it it changed like what you get with your character switch is your change back to a Devil May Cry three style. Yeah. Mi uh, uh, a mission select with the same music and everything. Did you always feel that this menu was kind of bare? It always is. It always <laughs> was. But I'll take this clean version over the like insane font layer JPEG fest mm -hmm. that is that is the previous games. Yeah, you're right. Um. Anyway, so uh, hey, what? Just making sure everybody's up. But to how date. did that happen? To be perfectly honest, Wooly, did you grind off screen? If by grind, did you get kind of big, if, huge? If by that you mean play a little bit, of, oh, I have some. I can. I can. Yeah, you actually have a little bit extra. Yeah. Um, if did, I, did you play one mission <laughs> of fucking so, legendary Dark Knight? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like I played the like when I when when Four uh, SE first came out. First thing I did was grab Virgil, jump into LKD, yeah, and like beat it. And yeah. then I remember like. Uh, Liam came over and he's like, dude, how do you have that many proud uh, souls? Because LDK Mission 2, which is really the first mission, gives you as many proud souls in that one mission as 70% of the regular game. So, like, you just run through the game and it's uh, obviously the difficulty's up. Congrats on your blue orb fragment. But you just do that shit and uh, you're fucking, you're, you're, you're good. You're super good. It's a really efficient way of getting shit. So... Man. Onward. I look at Nero As now, upward. and all I can think of is, in five you can rev the fucking sword when you're running forward. Oh yeah. Because here you can only do it when you're uh, when you're walking or when you're standing still. Right. What? How? You can't break that. That's crazy. So I actually played some uh, some of Virgil stuff pretty much up until this part and uh, the the end of this mission. And had a hell of a time trying to get these guys without any of my summon oh, yeah, sword no, stuff. Every enemy type is is very different depending on what your abilities are. And I also yeah, discovered these guys are annoying without snatch. a couple of uh, a couple of secret missions that are impossible for everyone but Nero. Um, the, the the secret mission coming up is actually impossible for any character but Nero because you need the the glow arm upgrade for it. So these guys are cutlasses. And what can you do? You can snatch them easily, and you can buster the fuck out of them, and it's awesome. But yeah, every other character in the game w w lacks a, like, uh, how a brain dead way to get them out of the floor. Right. Right? So usually you would use whatever projectile ability you have. But since I was playing as Virgil and I didn't use any of the summon sword stuff, I couldn't do it properly because I suck. Now, wow, uh, you beasted through those. These things, uh, these cutlasses, as their names are given. You got an enemy list over there, or are you just brain in it? Brain in it. Yeah. Um, they, yeah, they become like they're 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 not that bad when they're doing their swarm thing and you have the buster. Mm -hmm. But once you're dealing with them in ads as as like a distraction from the, the main thing. Yeah, they fuck. they've really so in uh, in the last game. Uh, I forget their name every time. In DMC3, we had those guys that shot the, the blue arrows. Enigmas? Enigmas. Um, they were the primary ad force of the game, but they were still not that annoying. Just meant to be like little bullets to, to pay attention to. In this else. game, they have added an entire category of ad enemy with those cutlasses and the upcoming sword assholes. It's just roaming hitboxes to fuck with you. Let's see if we can play no video games right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> so. So, do you... So, there's there's a... This hell, we are the ones who have that spell. So, this is a Before fucking... ten than guiding your other self to the door. Reviled part of this game. And now, if your family decides, strike us to practice. This is fucking reviled, <laughs> and I can only imagine that it is so reviled by people who never figured out how to get a consistent roll. Three. 
sharp. Oh, are you trying to be fancy? Yeah, I'll just do it the way I. This is this is how I do it. Let's see. Congrats, bully. That's the way to do it. There you go. It is, for Nero in particular, it is by far the most consistent way. So, to all of you who don't actually know, the trick is, is that the number on the very top of the dice, when you hit it, will be the number that you move. It will always fall to that degree. It's not random at all. It's the choice. The camera always flips you around. So all you do is count how far you want to go, memorize what number is before the number you want, and then use Buster. Why, Buster? Because the timing is so perfect and safe and solid. And there you go. Sure enough, it will be six, because magic. I've noticed that there is a window moment slightly before and after you, you can be too early, mm -hmm. even though it's showing, and you still fuck up. That's why I like to use Buster, because it has a nice... It's not instantaneous, but it's not slow either. Delicious, delicious red orbs. Wait, red orbs, fuck it. And the final star! Yay! So did you see me uh, flipping out on the subreddit about that move that we never did the once? The Tatsu? Yeah, did Apparently, you know about that? I didn't know about that. Fuck! I didn't know about it's that. It's in the move list! And we never... It's been 13 years! That's insane. It's yeah, been 13 years we didn't know about that move! To tell people what you're talking about. So, in Devil May Cry 3 and 4 and 5, with your fist weapon, if you have Sword Master equipped, you can do what is essentially a Shin Shoryuken. It's called Real Impact in uh, 4, and that's the name that uh, brings up into my mind. Um, and I did not know this until a few days ago when somebody asked me why I never did it in the LP. But if you mash the button after getting the Shoryuken part out, Dante will do a fucking sem uh, tatsu. fucking Tatsu Senpukyaku fucking hurricane kick in the air on the enemy that you launched. Apparently and so. I had never seen it up until uh, two days ago when I fucking looked at it. Apparently And like... And then I felt extra dumb because sure enough it's in that move list. The move list that we're too good to look at. Uh, very clearly. Now, um... You just want to... I feel like I might have seen it in a video at some point. You want three. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I, I think I might have seen it in a video at some point. And then gone, huh? But, like, that was years ago, so... Yeah. And it that's was, it. Um, pretty cool detail. God, I'm just thinking... I wonder what the fuck Nero's DT in 5 is gonna be. Cause it can't be what we're gonna get now. No, I imagine it might- I, I don't know if they're gonna reveal that arc at last. I don't know if they're gonna finally do it. Yeah. It might be interesting, though. I'm- um, you know what I, I'm thinking of what would a, a proper Super Nero be? It would be the ability to use the high-end version of your Devil Arm without it breaking. That'd be interesting, but I, I'm, I'm wondering if plot-wise, his song will finally have relevance, right? Yeah. Will he actually pull a devil trigger since, you know... Oh my god, oh dude, that'd be awesome. That, that's not actually what he has. But, but what if he does? Think we know about that. it. And, and again, the art's out there. The art is out there. Would he have just a big gross arm? Like, no, he'd be un no, it's he unbalanced. It's, it's his full fucking body. Yeah, no, 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 but like, he'd be full body demon, but then his arm would be even bigger and grosser demon then. He's quarter devil triggering though, so yeah. maybe he's not like, maybe it's, maybe that- Maybe he'd look more human. Maybe he's that still, distribution of power is he'd not He'd just be a little great. scaly. Uh, I don't know which door it was. Yeah, I think so, it's the one no, to no, the, no, it's the side. side. It's totally to the yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, there's just a statue up there, but it, it's, you think it's, it's straight useless. ahead and it ain't. Huh. Is that? Oh, this. Oh, no. Oh, boy. What? Oh, dear. I guess this controller is one that will do that sometimes. What's that? That controller. That I wasn't rotating the camera before. Oh, 
it's got a, it's got it's got a little stick. Got a little bit of stick. Oh look, a sword. Hmm, what could be going on in this room? Oh, 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 what's that? I want that. Why does that color speak to me? I want that. That looks dope. For, like, I, I like to imagine that, like, between mother, daddy, and, like, Nero's, like, pop, pop. Who the hell are you? I am Agnus. No, you know what Nero is? That we what talked about it before. Say? He's punk, so he'd be like, Fuck you, Dad. To my this is true. Yeah, my arm is gross. To figure no, you can't have it. Dad, get your, your own arm. God! Right, right. You're listening to my metal! Or whatever. Yeah, it's not metal. It's yeah, not yeah, metal. whatever. It's just the first word that popped in my head. Yes, this. Listening to Simple Plan, Dad! God! As Go fight with us. So, hey, we're on the same team. What's the problem, Agnes? Don't you think that's a little harsh? Killing me because of the way I t -t 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 talk. Calling him out. <laughs> oh no! Great. I've stupidly shit talked the man while inside his trap room. More demons. This. This is all Kratos doing. How? How is it Kratos oh, doing? Did you follow Dante? It was Kratos who brought you here. Dante? You mean the man that killed His Holiness? What the hell's going on here? I don't have to answer to you, for you are already as good as dead. It's like the most confusing. Like I thought we were on the same side. Why are we not on the same side? But here we go. This boss fight sucks. Yeah, it's not great, but... Like, it is not good. And with the characters that are, are not, uh, again, are not Nero, it's also bizarre. Yeah. Because you to... you're just hitting them and they fly back sometimes? Um, so these are Gladius. That makes sense. They even look like Gladius. Gladius is... however you pluralize it. It's the it's them short Roman swords, good for stabbing. This this mode is so weird because like the way the the your style is getting calculated, like it's sky oh, no. high even though you're just doing a bunch of nothing. Though it does kind of make sense thematically because Agnes is a total jobber. You see him doing poses and shit in the video screens. Yeah, 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 like he's enjoying this this moment or whatever. I c c can't believe I knocked someone up. For real, though. That's fucking insane. That's fucking crazy. I'm seeing... I'm seeing insane the theorizing about Five, about how uh, fucking Nico and V might be brother and sister. That's insane. It is. But don't you see, dude? Nico has a rave, uh, a titmouse tattoo, and then there's a William Blake poem that. Uh, fuck off. He's just, clearly Lady's brother, but that's what makes sense. The fact that anyone even likes Agnes enough to, to bother is well, like, fuck. You mean bother, like, taking his seed or like. Yeah, lying? yes. <laughs> <laughs> to bother with, to even deal with that. He's such a detestable piece of shit. As I don't know, to some be. chicks are into that. Yeah, I guess you so. You go down to the... the fight. <laughs> I knew a, a buddy of mine, he's like, man, I don't know about my ex. She goes, she just goes down to hang out at the prison. <sighs> there's there's that's people the, that have that's the most power. stuff about that. Yeah. <laughs> How can it be? Look who's talking, jackass. Answer my question. <gasps> what the hell's going on here? So that boss fight's not a boss fight. It's grab the gladius oh, and throw it back. Yeah. Found. Break the glass, that's it. It's magnificent. Okay, did you even hear me? If you want answers, then I shall give them to you. 
It has only been a few years since I began this research. Could we isolate and bind demonic power? It could enable us to conquer the world. And that, that is the wish of His Holiness. What a crock. And you may as well ditch the efforts, pal, because His Holiness is dead. Ah, but His Holiness has been reborn as an angel. See, this is what happens when you get to operating feet in level six. Yeah, right here. Yeah, <laughs> you, you get a little too far in. Uh oh, demonic to the church that you've been a part of the whole time, and is like, wait, what? What are we? What is the deal we're doing? What is, what is this? Wouldn't be a pro tag if you didn't get impaled. So, like, let's compare that vicious stabbing see, to see, let's say, like Dante, right? Has yielded. Dante would be back on the floor by now, Look. right? Laughing, <laughs> talking shit while the wound heals. You have no idea the hardship to make just one armor come to life. I had to capture and control countless demons to harness their souls. So every previous game was like, yo, look at the Force Edge. Isn't it such a fucking cool sword? Oh yeah. my god, it's the, the best. The Force Edge is the greatest weapon of all time. And then this one's like, yo, Yamato has a purpose too. Yamato is also the shit. And it turns out the weapons that Sparta was hanging out with were all good. They were all really good. They were all his devil arms. Who'd have thunk? Like, They'd have been good. It proves sufficient. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you should rest. <laughs> yeah, see, he's, you're not Soon doing so hot with the whole yeah. stabbing thing. You shall be my next subject of experimentation like so that i can learn to anybody who watched the, the the fight with virgil one in dmc3 like dante takes so much damage oh. in that fight and just goes yeah. meanwhile here that 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 sword's going through his balls by the way yeah a little bit never <laughs> surrender buddy never surrender your balls oh <laughs> Him out. I like the idea that, like, over the course of the game, he's like, it took years to make, like, ten armor. Right. And you're, you blow oh, up, like, tons of them, right? Backstory. Kyrie. <laughs> My girlfriend. Cooties. Folded over a thousand times. Uh, a thousand devil times. <laughs> the Nipponese sword is superior. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the ultimate weave. I love Agnes's bug form because it does it's trying so less hard it's so much less to be cool and angelic. Like it's like yeah, it's more true. It's like him. a footnote. Oh, pop it off! Oh, it's pop good. it off! It's so cool! I gotta stand. What does that look like? I don't know. Oh, not even I could succeed in restoring it. Family. Damn. Daddy was so obsessed that it's even that it's in his fucking spooge. <laughs> his kids are popping out and going, oh power! Kinda like kinda like uh Giorno's popping out going useless, useless, muda muda. Yeah, is that a genetic it's, it's, it catchphrase? Was, it's the catchphrase is in the fucking DNA. <laughs> Also, once he turns into Waspinator, it makes his character make more sense. Much more. Wow. 
One of the reasons I like Nero the best is he has the best DT of anyone. It's the raddest. <laughs> it has the coolest animations. It's the most useful. Yeah. Like, you get but, you get your cool throw moves improved. But, but check this out. <laughs> See this? This is the difference between him and Dante. Dante pops his DT for the first time and goes, and falls over. Yeah. DT and N Nero goes, get back to oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Let's, okay. Go. Let's go. This right. is this fucking arm, though, right? Nah, that's something. cool. That's the, di like, like D Dante passes the fuck out right here and just falls over and screams. And, and Nero's like, yeah. Yeah, devil trigger. Okay. Yeah, okay. There you go. You have the Yamato, and you also have Devil Trigger. The Yamato is Virgil's sword. Oh my god, did you, did you guys know that? After it broke, <laughs> it kept it. Oh my god. When did that happen? <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, when did that actually when happen? Could it, when could it have happened? It might have had to happen in DMC 1. Oh yeah, whatever. Somebody found it. Somewhere. It was in the waterfall. Was... Yeah, shut up. Even though Virgil falls off the waterfall and slashes Dante's head and, ha and, has, and has it in his head in hell, and he's using it to run up to Mundus. Don't worry about it. These guys got it somewhere, somehow, someplace. Dante went to hell, stole it from Virgil, <laughs> and then lost it. And then came back out. He just misplaced it on a pizza bender. Then he found Nello Angelo later, and that's why Nello Angelo has to use the big sword. Yeah. Sure. That's what happened. Fuck, no. The, the cult... Heard that Dante went to Malay Island and they went yeah. and found Nello Angelo's body where they got the armor because his soul left and then he had the busted sword next to him and it was right there. There, that's how they did it. Don't forget your blorb. That's the sound we want to hear. That's the noise. That's the one we want to hear. Hey, now that we have all three revs, can we get a, a three rev high time or what, what it's called, high roller? Sure, one second. Let me just slide this up. That was awful. So that's that <laughs> one's infuriating, by the way. I should mention. I believe you can actually just snatch, snatch it. it. Yeah. Or not. Oh, maybe it's just with Virgil. Hmm. Maybe it's just with Daddy. I fucking love it. It's my favorite. I hear every night in my dreams. I hear this sound effect. That little. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. All right. Let's go. You fucking nailed it. Good job. Yes, so. Nice. Let's see what level three high roller is. Woo. And that shit slows down on each hit. And yeah, it has a lot of hit stop. So if you can get that consistently, which is difficult. Yeah. But if you can exceed consistently, you can, you'll get that. I don't know, one fifth, one fourth, one third of the time if you're really good. Similar level three streak. Also, is a very hard. Great. So let's see what's possible. But the timing is frame perfect. It's very specific. Oh no! Oh no! Our first encounter with the real enemy. <laughs> Here's the issue with Nero, is that. I definitely found myself getting into moments where it's like, I'm focusing so much on getting exceed yeah. that I'm actually not fighting properly. <laughs> right. I love his mobility. I love his arm. The buster arm that you get in five is gonna be the one I wanna use the most often. You know you can uh, break their shields if you bust them. If enough you keep time. going through it, yeah. It's but not particularly useful for it's them. Way faster to just flop over the back and do a cross up on. Make that. sure to get that secret mission. It is back here. Now this is the one that is actually impossible without Nero, because it is find all the hidden orbs and requires you to use the glow on his arm to actually find I mean, them. I mean, you can. I imagine you could fluke it. They are randomly placed. <laughs> right? Like, they are, in fact, randomly located. Alright. 
Well, now that I know that, it must be upstairs. Uh, I, yeah, I definitely. Oh, close. Maybe on top of that. No. Oh my god. I didn't, is... know, I didn't know that. Oh, look at points. I didn't know oh, no, that. Does. No, that's just me. Oh. Oh, find it. See? And you have to find, uh, I think four. It's gotta be back here. Yeah. No? Oh, yeah, it's gotta be down there somewhere. Out of a mercury spot. Yeah. Sure enough. Alright, one more. So yeah, doing this as, like, Virgil or Lady... Fuck your... Like, fuck it, you know? Ce n'est pas le possible. Oh, you're getting there. Getting there. Luckily, your blorb, uh, your blorb count transfers over from character to character. Congrats! Yay! Trivial as Nero. Impossible Silly. as others. Silly as others. And they, they move around. So to everybody who is playing this game and gets the SE, I would recommend, by far, play through as Dante and Nero. Do your secret missions. Get your orbs. Then go through the game with the others for funsies. For two reasons. One, you'll have the upgrades, and you'll also have the proud souls that you can get their moveset a little more easily. And the cutscenes will make more sense. They sure will. Also, Virgil feels like he was designed that enemy encounters just assume you have every move in his set. Like, from the very beginning of the game. I can't believe we're gonna get the ability to just use this track in in fucking DMC5. Do you think those songs are gonna have the fucking mu like music mixing? I don't know. I, I imagine that's the whole point of making it an, an announcement, right? Like the fact that they called it as like a special thing. Amazing! Oh no! Oh. Um, the fact that they told you like, hey, it's a big deal. We're adding this stuff. Makes me think, like, yeah, actually, they, um, they, they, they did mix it in, and that's why they're saying you could add, you could, that's why they're calling it out. Yeah. That's why they're saying, hey, we put special battle tracks, because they actually mixed it so that it has that, the same thing that, uh, oh, look. That. Oh, my God. That the rest of the game has, which is going to make those songs even better. It sure will. Thank God, even if they don't fix subhuman, we can just fucking fix it ourselves. Also, I'm okay with just playing with Devil Trigger as Dante. That's fine, too. Alright, so the crowd control situation. So there is a, uh, there is a... Frequent thing. Uh, what do you call it? There is a little tidbit of knowledge that I can't currently verify because it was in one of the comments on our subreddit. But if true, it's fascinating. So we talked a little while ago about the amazing motion capture sessions yes. that went into making the cutscenes of these games. And, like, nearly all of the ridiculous cutscenes were just recreated with wire foo and such. Apparently... Oh, wait. I should fucking pop this yes, off. Yes, you should. Show that off. Oh, you're showing it off really good. Get a throw in there, I swear to God. Oh. Uh, apparently, Ruben Langdon insisted that they hire from the Power Rangers cast. Right, right. Specifically so that they would have people that could do that shit. That's a, I love that. That's and fucking like, great. Sure enough, Nero and uh, Nero and Virgil are both Power Rangers. That's that's yeah. Like I didn't know that was his insistence. But, but it makes sense as to why that, like, so many of them would have come that way. Because, like, yeah, that, that thing fucking continues. That Power Ranger history, absolutely. Um, I... Hmm. Yeah, okay. The main thing, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll I'll try to get it in there for sure, but, uh, the DT has some cosmetic... Fucking it has all sorts of wild shit. Loveliness. All of your taunts change. Some slightly, some not as slightly. Your moveset changes as you can imagine, but it's like 
Changes as an it's additional. But you can uh, I'll factor in the fa the the, the XC levels into that, mm -hmm. and like now you got a fucking stew going because there's <laughs> like three versions of every move, and then another three when you're popped. So yeah, basically the the biggest thing you can see it a little bit when we used the DT earlier, is that the DT is not increasing the power of your attacks. It's adding its own strike to every attack, and it's delayed. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's actually like you're attacking twice as fast because of pop, 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 pop. Which is great for stunning enemies. That's awesome. Uh, I want to see this door and then outside. You can go outside through either door, I believe. Yeah. Ah, oh, we can fuck around a little bit. Hell yeah, we can. I want to see a DT throw, goddammit. They're my favorite things in the entire game, as you would expect from somebody who plays throw characters. One, two, three. Oh, it's so good. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. But yeah, every single throw gets this beefed up version. Did you used to throw that guy once? Now you'll throw him three times. All right. All right, get over here, Frost. Well, it's more like I'll get over there. Wait, what? You can snatch him towards you? You can. There's moments. Huh. Oh. I time it? Oh, oh no. You can, you, can, you can be fucking greedy with it. You sure can. And it does work. I fucking love it. Oh, he got out. That is just, oh. Um, one-handed big sword. I love it. 